Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rule the Waves 3 as Japan. So, a few parts back we got involved in a war with France. Britain finally got involved right at the end of the last part. Um, so yeah, that's now something we need to deal with. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have tons of monthly balance and funds in the treasury because, well, they cut back our budget a little too much at the end of the last war. That we were hemorrhaging money just getting the fleet out to be able to battle France alone. But we finally are getting some budget back. Um, so we're kind of going to be fo focusing a little bit on trying to build a stockpile during this war. Um, and then strategically invading targets um, when possible. Now the biggest thing for me is I don't know if setting an invasion target in any way encourages battles in a region. I would hope it would personally. Like that's how I would probably design the system. Is that if you say, hey, I want to invade Samoa, the game will be more inclined to generate battles in the South Pacific as opposed to somewhere else may just be me. I don't know if it works that way. It probably doesn't, but that's how I would do it personally. But assuming that it does work that way, we are actually going to go ahead and try to that invasion of Samoa. What's this? Ah, okay. Um, well, you're below average anyway, so you're not great. This is the last time I'll have combat training interrupted by useless pastimes. Get him out of the service. Okay, yep, yeah, okay, I will forgive them for being able to say that. I'm not happy about it, but I will give them that, I guess. You know, kind of forced to give it to them, I guess. Really. Don't have much say on that. Okay, we claim that they only have a single... Nope, sorry, I don't care to fight that. I legitimately do not care to fight that. It has a whole bunch of CVs, um, and I have a CL and some destroyers. Fuck that noise. Okay, we have zero intel on the British down here in around the Biz eh. Bismarck Archipelago. But we roughly know what they had, generally speaking, and it was a boatload of ships. The exact specifics I do not recall in any capacity, but it was a bunch of stuff that I do not really care to fight. So I'm going to decline this one as well. I will fight this, although I'm not a big fan of a convoy defense personally. But it's what we got. Radar contact. What was that first thing? Um, I don't know. We got a pop up about something. I don't know what. Oh, probably uh, being locked by enemy, being radar locked was probably what it was. Managed to land a couple of missile hits on their dreadnought, which is wonderful. 
Um, anybody else got missiles? Don't think so. Pretty sure we've launched them all at this point. Because it's not like we had a boatload either. But if we can sink that dreadnought and that battle cruiser, we're doing a pretty decent amount of damage against. I'm going to be very, very happy. Especially when it's being sunk by a fairly old design. Uh, now the biggest thing I'm not a fan of is that our transports are heading directly towards the enemy to try to get into port. I'm really, I'm not a big fan of the game deciding to have the enemy spawn right here. Although I'm guessing they came out of Zanzibar, I guess, is what we're supposed to believe. And I mean, okay, I'll give you that, I guess. Not, okay, yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, game. Okay, yeah, Dreadnought is dead in the water. I don't know why you guys aren't shooting at anything. You literally have targets that you can clearly see. You're just not shooting at for some reason. Okay, the enemy apparently has some more stuff that's coming from the south. That's... Fucking what game? And annoyingly, I don't have enough ships to be able to quite go and chase after both quite as well as I would like. Because if I chase after these guys, the armored cruisers here will be able to just swoop in. I can't exactly do it that way. Well, unless they decide they're not going to try to head in, which means then I can try to go after both without significant issues. We are landing 15 hits over here on the Indomitable. The Azuma is already almost out of ammo. Somebody exploded. Somebody exploded. I don't know who, I don't know what, and I don't know where, but I clearly heard what sounded like a flash fire. choosing a different target uh, and also evidently I was wrong those are not CAs despite what we were originally claiming they were those were apparently actually destroyers 
which still would have wrecked havoc on our transports either way. I'm pretty sure we have some semblance of an escort there. It's not significant. You guys are going in. Okay, there we go. Job done. Head north to go back to being able to actually escort those guys, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Hello, Indomitable. I've got a present for you. I'm sure you will appreciate them greatly. Or not. Don't worry, there's more coming in. You're out of arc, really. I don't quite agree with that assessment, but okay. There we go. Those ones should hit. Um, and then we proceeded to uh, flash fire it. And the Wami takes a torpedo, unfortunately. That sucks. Because as we know with their sister ship, they suck at damage control. But luckily, you didn't seem to take quite as much damage from this torpedo, so maybe you will actually know how to do damage control. I can certainly hope, right? Oh, they actually destroyed our uh, land installations. Nope, it is legitimately looking like you're probably just as bad at damage control. So I'm just going to tell you to leave. Do not know what is the deal with some of these ship classes where they're just atrocious at damage control for seemingly no reason. Pretty sure there's probably one of our Corvettes or something there. Doubly so since we didn't shoot at it. I don't, I'm surprised that you're not sunk. I really am. Let's see if 
There's an airbase around Zanzibar. I suppose we could try to go ahead and hit the airbase. You know, just to mess with the British a bit more. If you guys travel at something like five knots or something. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, we sunk two dread or well, excuse me, we sunk uh, both their dreadnought and their battle cruiser. They did not sink six of our transports. Um, in fact, they actually sunk none. In exchange, we lost two destroyers, which, you know, sucks, but I'd rather lose some destroyers in exchange for dreadnoughts and cruisers. That's a great first battle against the British. Aerial data link improves cap effectiveness and reduces report delay. Wonderful new French heavy jet fighter. Our forces are resisting the enemy secure in the fortifications of the Bismarck Archipelago. Wonderful. Food is becoming scarce in Great Britain due to submarine sinkings of merchant ships. Wow, that was fast. Uh, battle on the South American East Coast between the U.S. and French navies. The... Americans lost two destroyers in exchange for a French CVL. I, that's okay. That's a decent trade, I guess. Would be even better if you didn't lose the destroyers. But I don't know what the full composition was, so that probably wasn't an option. Jesus fucking Christ, the British Navy. Hey, yeah, you know, we said we were trying to invade Samoa. Change of plans. We're invading Singapore. I don't like fighting in this strait. I really don't. This is a shitty place to fight. I wish I could just, you know, change what we're fighting. Like, if that was an option, that would be great. But no, you can only rearrange your forces. You can't attempt to reroll where you're fighting. Because I don't like fighting here. Double fighting here is okay before missiles, but once missiles come into effect, it is an absolutely shitty place to fight because you will radar detect each other almost immediately and then proceed to just have everybody fire a million missiles. So no, I'm not fighting there. Um, I'm probably going to say no to this as well because this is the uh, Bismarck Archipelago and we don't really have any intel on them. We're just going to say some battle cruisers and supporting forces and in exchange I've got a couple of CAs. How about no? I will fight you out in the open ocean, though, in Southeast Asia. That I don't have a problem with. Again, I will fight you out in the open ocean in Southeast Asia. I don't have a problem with that. Are you going to error out again? Yes, you are. Why you errored out? I don't know game just didn't want me to fight in a battle where i would have actually been willing to fight that that's what we're going to say was the reason because that is the reason that makes the most sense it really does to me Okay, maybe we don't go for Singapore because evidently you really do care to defend that. I can't really fault you for that, I guess. Do we say, hey, I know we're taking Djibouti, but maybe we should also go ahead and invade Yemen now while we're at it. And if we manage to take Yemen or Djibouti, whichever one we take first, we get an airbase. I suppose that's actually not a terrible idea, all things considered. Screw it. We'll go ahead and try to invade Yemen as well. That is a shitty fleet composition game. Please tell me that's not accurate. That is unfortunately accurate. How about no?
You're not going to let me skip out on this one, though. Okay, so this is going to be a fun fight. And by fun, I mean it's going to be absolutely annoying. Uh, I don't even know what the hell this search pattern is. I don't see myself enjoying this fight. I'll be honest, I don't really find naval invasions all that uh, fun in World of Waves 3. Something about just how annoying the AI is when it comes to actually um, getting to the landing site, it, it's just annoying to me. It really is. Oh, we got something with big guns firing. Which I'm not surprised by CAs. They do not quite outrun us. They are slightly slower actually, so we have a halfway decent shot of getting away. Select ready, launch. Nope, no need to coordinate the strike, just get the hell in there. Lose the Azuki. Land some missile hits. We have lost radar contact. Let's try to reestablish that. Strike, try again, ready, go. Select ready over here. Ish, launch, go. Destroyer. Annoyingly, they have managed to land a good number of hits on the Unebe here. It's bad for us because that's the only ship we have that can actually do anything so we're just gonna go ahead and leave now because we don't have anything to escort the transports goodbye we're done we're out peace where the fuck are you going you are going the wrong way buddy all 
No, no. Stop. No search. No cap. Get the hell out of here. Because there's absolutely zero reason for us to stay. And it literally just costs us more to be able to stay here for any extended period. trying to launch or pick up anything. Just go. Leave. And now we just wait forever for this to end. There we go, and now we can finally actually leave. Like I said, I personally actually do not enjoy naval invasions in Roll of Waves 3. I don't know what it is. Something about them, they're just... They're terrible, in my opinion. They really are. I don't. I really don't know what the issue is. I didn't generally have complaints about them in Roll of the Waves 2. But for some reason here in Roll of the Waves 3, there's just... Ah, uh, fair few things I don't like about them that just all compound to make it an absolutely annoying experience. Biggest one for me is just how shitty the AI is when it comes to actually heading for the landing site. It's, it's bad, it really is. And then some places where it just seemingly gets stuck, which causes its own a host of issues. No, that's not his fault. At least not fully. U.S. joins against Britain now. Wonderful. Uh, I think tensions have gone down slightly, unfortunately, between Germany and Britain. We're not going to bother attempting any further invasions of Yemen. Let's see if we can get Singapore this time, but probably not, because they will immediately sail back and say, no, 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 you can't do that. Oh, game's going to make me fight this, and I'm just going to turn around and leave, I think. We'll give it a little bit and see, but that's probably what we'll end up doing. And I don't know why the CV is so close to the front lines. That's just way too close, game. It doesn't need to be right there. A strike uh, ready strike go uh, 
I'm liking that supposed spotting of a of three CVs and a CVL a lot more actually where their CVs are. I don't think that said we hit, but I'm assuming we got a good hit in with one of the 16-inch guns, because that's the only explanation for why that guy is now dead in the water. That or it's delayed reporting, one of the two. these guys that are taking tor how are they taking torpedo hits i mean who the hell's launching torpedoes at them seriously i mean i obviously it's the destroyer but really those are some damn accurate torpedoes from that destroyer. have an issue with the, those super accurate torpedoes but it seemed very out of place to me and here's the stuff that I really want to kill Annoyingly for us, we're kind of sandwiched between the enemy, so it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to get out. Well, that's not strictly true. But they will be annoying. Ready, launch, nope. Um, we won't launch the dive bombers because it'll be night. But we'll launch the rest of you. fired or had a magazine explosion rather not one of ours and that's the only thing that matters to me but nonetheless sucks because I don't trust my CVs with damage control. I 
think we're just gonna go ahead and leave it now. We have done quite a bit of damage. And yep, here you is sucking at damage control as is the norm. And it's already sunk when it still has structural integrity. Because they suck at damage control. To just an absolutely stupid amount. I really don't know what the fuck the problem is with CVs and damage control. There is something really, really wrong with them. And I know we got a tech earlier that was supposed to improve it. And most damage control techs don't require new designs. They don't require refits. They don't require any of that stuff for the stuff, for things to go into effect. It's just supposed to be automatic so either our guys were just already really really bad at damage control which we basically knew was the case and that tech barely made a difference or something else is going on and i realized it didn't help that we had some guys ready for a strike that also doesn't necessarily help, but the reality is, I don't think even if they were not ready, that it would have made a difference. They still would have been hit by the missile, and still would have caught fire. So uh, we lose another CV. Annoyingly, we of course, because of shitty, shitty diplomats, we make peace. Should we have made peace? No, we shouldn't have. We really shouldn't have. But we do anyway. So we have two, v, uh, you know, two value worth of uh, possessions we can take. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. The reality: there was zero reason for us to make peace. Absolutely zero reason for us to make peace. Okay, sure, we lost the CV. Guess what? They lost two. And theirs were newer. I can guarantee to you that. The Hear You was an ancient carrier. Ancient. As far as carrier technology was concerned. But no. You lost the CV. Oh, the enemy's coming with a, you know, peace offer. I know you said that we should keep on fighting. But we're going to go ahead and make peace anyway, because screw you. Great job, guys. Great job. You know, if the fascists come to me and say, hey, we're going to plan a coup, I'm backing them this time. I am absolutely back. I don't usually do it. I usually say, no, we're going to support the legitimate government. If you guys win, though, I certainly won't complain. But I'm not going to actually back you for, uh, you know, getting the coup going. I'm going to do that this time if they were to, if it were to pop up again, which it won't, but if it were to, I would certainly do it. I would absolutely do it this time because I am sick of these diplomats making peace when we're winning. And it's always shitty peace offers. Absolutely shitty peace offers. We're going to take Yemen and Djibouti. I'm not going to bother with fucking war reps. There's just zero reason. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to get rid of the airbase, I think, in Djibouti. I don't need both of those. Where is it? Get rid of that to free up some money. Kick down our spying on them to free up more money. Heavy SAM mounts, wonderful. Nope, we're not going to bother getting a new naval patrol aircraft because there's no reason for us to. Uh, most of our shot down enemy aircraft came from fighters, followed by heavy AA, followed by medium AA, other aircraft, and then light AA. Only shot down 24 aircraft. Well, that's not surprising. We didn't get any big carrier battles. Probably in part because the enemy I don't think really had... Well, we could have if the game didn't glitch out on, you know, error out when we had those battle offers here and then up here. But it did. It decided, no, I can't let you have those battles. Okay, rest of the fleet is here. Reserve fleet. Yep, oh, some people still haven't made it, apparently. Tell them to head up to now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can't have both. That's why we're getting rid of the catapults. Uh, we cannot do that, and we're going to downgrade further to 3-inch guns because those are even better now, especially with that last deck that we just got. Uh, let's see. No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to stick with the two mounts. That's fine. Spacious. Go. Get your rebuild done. Uh, I don't know why the game put everybody back into active fleet, but it did. I don't know why the game's doing this sometimes when I do stuff. Group DCM systems, a bunch of other stuff. Oh, yes, let's get those constructions going again, I guess. Uh, we don't have the money, but we need to build some defenses at Djibouti and uh, Aden. Improved SSM launchers. Nope. Aiden needs to be built up further. I want full 100 aircraft there. Uh, we can probably actually start now. We'll do it. Well, yeah, you only got the one port, so we'll do two in Aiden or two in Djibouti. We'll hold off. For a bit and then we'll do two and eight in once we have the money <sighs> i'm gonna go ahead and stop my timer yeah i i, I really do find these peace agreements annoying They really do get annoying after a while with how shitty some of them are. Uh, improves gun and missile accuracy on destroyers. Wonderful. 
Proof radar directed medium AA guns. Success eludes us. Unexpected advancements in amphibious operations, which actually is not true at all. Because I'm pretty sure we are at the highest level. But you can't go any lower than low. So we're kind of stuck with that. Computer assisted design calculations. Well, okay, I guess it's 1956. You get some very early computers. Uh, expecting you. Also, you really should be a reserve. Um, let's see. Haga, you don't really need the dive bombers anymore. As it turns out, they're not that great. Mostly because they can't go night fighting with dive bombers. Is really my biggest complaint about them. So you're going to go to night capable torpedo bombers. Thank you very much. Same with the Zuikaku. You're going to go to night capable torpedo bombers. Because having the ability to launch missile attacks at night is always helpful. In my opinion, at least. Yep. The U.S. is doing what basically will happen now in this era where you... You still have guns, but you kind of sort of forgo them in exchange for missiles. And the U.S. actually has uh, a lot of SAM technology. We literally just got heavy SAMs and they already have medium SAMs. Missile submarines, those are going to be nice. Okay, so Kuba's finished their rebuild to replace their stuff and get themselves a helipad. Drop the guns down more, go to spacious. This is going to be a very expensive rebuild for you for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, oh, never mind. You got, really, you get medium SAMs with heavy SAMs. Why does it not say that you get medium as well? It literally only said that I got heavy. But okay. Um, we got, I mean, I'd love to do this. I really would. But we can't afford it. Um, also, I would actually like a midship heavy SAM mount, if you don't mind. Uh, okay, we'll just completely forego those. Uh, we'll switch you to oil and turbine. And um, I guess maybe we won't do all four mounts. Let's retry that. Got to get rid of that first. Helipad. Heavy Sam in the midship because that gives us 360 degree arc. Heavy SSMs. We'll do D&E. Go down to 3 inch guns. Got to go to spacious there. Still leaves us with like 500, but if I switch you to oil and turbine, we'll be able to just barely, barely get that to work. Uh, you are then, of course, going to be very expensive to actually do a rebuild for, and we don't have the money. We have even less money be than we did going into the war. You know, going into the war, we had a budget of about 800,000. A little over. We have 750 some odd now. That extra 50 makes a significant difference.
Let's go ahead and get the let the uh, Chakuma get out because that'll well once it gets out it'll free up a lot of money. Uh, the Awami. I don't know why you're showing tertiary mount graphics when you don't have any. Uh, this would be an expensive one as well. Uh, so we're not doing this right now. That's very obvious. In fact, actually, four inch guns are now worse than uh, <laughs> five inch guns when it comes to heavy AA, but three inch guns are still the best now. But I don't got the money for that, so we're just going to have to wait more. Hope that they give us some money. Which they probably won't, not anytime soon at least. Oh, don't remind me again of the Naval Patrol aircraft. I legitimately don't care for it. How long expensive is that? Uh, that would break the bank, so we're not doing that. I need to get just one, just one upgrade there. Um, I don't think there's actually any advancements left in the hole, so let's drop that down to low. Because you told me there was an unexpected advancement and then I got literally nothing. Now, actually, um, realistically, I should be switching all of you guys to, um, you know what, let's just disband, auto add, copy, paste the rest, uh, well, actually, whoops, I uh, forgot to make these guys knight capable. Oh, now you get a nice little drop down for that, eh? Why wasn't that there before? At least I don't recall seeing it before. Uh, do that again. This will also free up some money while they're doing that. But it, it'll just build the treasury. It's that's not going to last for very long because they will pretty quickly replace that stuff. Uh, since some of our newest and most powerful, that'll increase tensions with Germany, Russia, and China. Uh, but Germany and China go down. Thank you for more money. I absolutely need that. Go for the win, of course. We're just going to power through some turns here. Uh, China, bomb it. We're on our way to understanding improved SSM launchers. That, I believe, gives us triple mounts. Apparently bombing China pissed off Europe. I don't know why. Britain and France decide not to renew their alliance. Wonderful for me. Um, yes, I will buy that. Shaft dispensers reduces missile hit chance on ships. Wonderful. Let's get you going. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Helipad. Give you a heavy SAM as well. Spacious. 
drop the light AA guns down enough. Could go three aircraft. We'd have to drop weight, or not weight, but um, topside space more. There we go. Double mounts there. Medium SAM, or excuse me, a heavy SAM in the middle there. Um, when it comes to SAMs, the differences are largely effectively their range maneuverability heavy sams have the best range but they're not exactly maneuverable makes sense the idea being it's a larger missile um light sams when we inevitably get them don't have quite as much range but they are much more maneuverable when it comes to engaging enemy um aircraft and missiles um well i believe they fire at missiles as well i could be incorrect on that but they'll definitely fire on enemy sh uh, enemy aircraft. There is also a tech that you eventually get that allows SAMs to be used in an anti-ship capacity. That tech, um, well, so that also impacts stuff to a degree because I believe SSMs are designed in such a way that they technically have over the horizon capabilities in a sense. The idea being that you're able to actually fire on them more um, on targets they can't exactly see. While SAMs that are used in anti-ship capacity don't have that. They basically require direct line of sight. Um, so they have much shorter ranges in when it comes to being used in anti-ship capacity. But an advantage of using SAMs that way is largely just the fact that they have more reloads. You can put reloads on your SSMs. That's certainly something you can do. It it adds a fair bit of weight, and I believe it also uses topside space as well. So you you kind of struggle to do it, really. Yeah, that's like an that's an extra six topside space, and it increases the weight by twenty. So, also that would indicate that the missile tubes themselves are, well, that doesn't make any sense, game. Why does the weight not change when you double the number of tubes? Maybe it's just me, but that should increase the weight, considering that torpedoes do. When you increase the number of torpedo tubes on a torpedo mount, the weight does increase. I don't quite understand that game but okay you do you um i mean we could theoretically slap a medium sam on here as well if we wanted to um we'd have to basically forgo the rest of the uh aa mounts and probably cut down the secondaries to afford that so we're not doing that We're just going to stick with the heavy. That's fine. And get you going. We also realistically need to design some new stuff because those wars dragged on for so damn long, but I'll probably just do those off screen. You go to three inch why are you i don't know why the game keeps adding tertiary mounts to stuff randomly or tertiary graphics rather okay um you're already on spacious which is good but we are Slightly overweight. We could technically send you out like this. I don't really want to. We 
we will drop a few rounds per gun to make weight. See what we can do for the Nations. Nice little upgrade button there. Get rid of the catapults. Make you. Well, actually, out of curiosity, you are 319 with the catapults. Get rid of it. You are 295. Add the helipad. The helipad is heavier. The helipad is, in fact, heavier than a catapult. It would appear. Yes, because the catapult is only a weight of 20, but this is a weight of, what is that, like 80 for a helipad? Hmm. I don't think there's a way I can get you within weight unless I drop the auto loaders, which I mean kinda sucks because I <laughs> I like the auto loader. Well at least the idea of it, but evidently I cannot have it. So we will get rid of it. I will not be happy that we are getting rid of it, but we will get rid of it. SW mortar rockets, yes you're gonna want that. You are gonna have to do a full on refit. And replace your machinery to free up stuff. You are going to just... This is not fun at all. It is not possible for you to make weight. Well, technically you are making weight. You are considered officially to only be slightly overweight. What can I do here? Uh, drop the ammo here to free up weight. I did like the idea of 500 rounds, but evidently I cannot have 500 rounds, so we won't have that. I cannot give you missiles because you guys do not have the free weight remaining for that. Uh, you cannot be faster than 31 knots. Guess we're just gonna leave you at 31 that's fine uh not really anything else i can do about you then in all honesty it's gonna be an expensive rebuild but we need these let's do one more turn to get the yashima out Well, thank you for that, I guess. Ah, let's piss off the British. Especially because they're not allied to the French anymore, so I'd only have to fight them, which is significantly easier to do, all things considered. But we need to, off screen, I will design a bunch of new ships. Namely, those are going to be uh, some more some new CAs and CLs, as well as destroyers. But that's going to be it for this part. I will see you all next time, where it looks like we are already back on the job of pissing off the British. So, not even really going to have had the opportunity to rebuild from those losses, and we are already going to war again, most likely. But I will see you all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.